A lot of you have been requesting that I make another video on how you can escape from the Matrix and become financially free. And I understand why. We all know that money is not everything. But if you do not have money, it will become everything. Having money is not about being focused on money. It is about being able to not focus on money to the point where it is affecting your well-being. Now, if you have watched my videos before, you will know that I am not particularly a fan of the traditional advice on how to become financially free. Most people will tell you that you need to keep working your regular job and save as much as you can to invest in the stock market and let compound interest do the rest. Do not get me wrong. Investing in stocks or even real estate is a good idea. But if you are a part of the middle class, this approach will take you decades to get you to your goal. So instead of focusing on saving the little scraps, you need to focus on increasing your earning capacity. And you do this by starting a side hustle. I am not going to tell you which side hustle you should pick. This will be entirely up to you and it is a decision that you should make based on extensive research into the many different business models that exist. But in this video, I will give you six steps that you need to apply in order to succeed in any type of business. Make sure you stick around to the end because none of these steps can be skipped if you truly want to succeed. Now before we get into it, I would seriously appreciate it if you would leave a like and if you would subscribe to the channel. And please leave a comment sharing your own thoughts and opinions, and feel free to ask me anything. I always reply to my viewers, and I love staying in touch with you guys and hearing about your individual journeys. It is always inspiring to me to hear the points of view of like-minded individuals. I would also like to take a brief moment to say thank you to those of you who keep coming back to my channel. Trust me, I notice you guys, and I believe that you know who you are. I appreciate the support, and you are a huge motivator for me, and I truly hope that I can help inspire you to become the best version of yourself. But without further ado, let's get into the six steps. Step number one, pick a hustle and learn. When plotting your escape from the matrix, the obvious first step is to pick one hustle, one business that you are going to focus on and choose very carefully. Yes, if you fail, you can try another business model. But most people do not try hard enough or long enough to know if they have actually failed. So when you pick a business model, make sure that you can see yourself doing this in the long term. You do not start a dropshipping business and give up after three weeks to try something else. If you do this, none of the things you try are going to work. More of that later in the video. But you are lucky because there are endless opportunities today thanks to the internet. A few examples could be affiliate marketing, drop shipping, social media marketing agency, selling on Amazon, print on demand, Instagram theme pages, a YouTube channel, becoming a streamer, online fitness coaching. There are so many options to choose from, so there is probably also one that is going to fit you personally. And when you have chosen your preferred business model, you need to learn. Learn as much about it as you possibly can before you jump into it. It goes without saying that the majority of your learning is going to be after you get started, but you should still prepare yourself to the best of your ability. So every night, when you would usually turn on Netflix, sit yourself down and focus on learning about this new business model. Now, let's move on to the next step. Step number two, create space. The second step you need to take is to create some space in which you can make your moves. If you are like most people, you work a regular full-time job and you live paycheck to paycheck. This way of life does not allow much wiggle room for you to get a head start on your project. So what I want you to do is this. As we discussed in the first step, you should now know which type of business you are going to start. And you should have spent a significant amount of time learning about this particular business model. Now I need you to create a plan, a course of action. You need to neatly organize and line up the tasks that you need to do in order to get things going. You need to calculate a budget. You need to know exactly what you need to execute on. Because in this way, you will be able to attack with speed, which is crucial, in order to gain the momentum you need. 
And now, you need to listen. When you have a plan that are ready to be executed, you need to find a way to minimize the amount of time that you spend on your regular job. Maybe you ask for three weeks of vacation. Maybe you did some overtime so you can take some time off now. Find a way to get some time off work and make sure to have some money set aside if something unpredictable happens. Now you need to spend every single waking moment of the time you are off from work getting a head start on your business. If you truly dedicate yourself, you will be amazed how much work can be done in three weeks if you work around the clock. Step number three, take risks. Without risk, there is no reward. It does not matter in which way you put it. If you want to succeed, you have to take risks. There is no way around it. Most of the time, it will be a financial risk, but it could also be that you risk losing some friends. You risk being misunderstood. You risk being rejected. You risk working extremely hard without succeeding. You need to be at peace with the fact that you risk losing, and you need to not let this fact hold you back. Placing your first order from a supplier if you are trying to start an online store can be overwhelming. Trust me, I speak from experience, and I am not ashamed to tell you that I have failed. I have invested vast amounts of money in a business that ended up failing. This is part of the game. But this is where you dust yourself off. You regroup, and then you go again. If you keep taking calculated risks, and you keep working hard, success will come, eventually. Step number four, complete focus. When you want to break free from the rat race, you need momentum. You need to move fast. You need to grind. You need to focus. This means that on the weekends, you dedicate the entire day to working on your project. It means that you need to turn down invitations to go and do regular fun activities with your friends. And this can be painful. But you need to be willing to suffer if you want to create a better life for yourself. The business world is extremely competitive, and there are people out there who are laser focused. If you are slacking off and you are only giving it 50%, these people will outperform you. So put on your big boy pants and get to work. Step number five, consistency is key. I want you to think very carefully about what I'm going to ask you now. If you imagine that you choose one specific business model and you work very hard on it and you do not give up, if you keep working on it for years, no matter how few results you are getting in the beginning, you keep working. Do you not think that eventually you will start moving forward? It does not matter if the progress is very slow in the beginning. If there is progress, no matter how slow, then with time, you will become successful. It is a snowball effect. In the first few years, it might be very slow and you will not see the desired results. But once it starts to accelerate, you will thank yourself for sticking to your plan and doing the work. Hard work always pays off. There is no quick fix. It goes without saying that if you are not making any progress, you need to go back to the drawing board and point out where you can do better. It is a constant process of trial and error. But if you are learning from your mistakes and focus on improving and becoming more skilled at your business, it is going to pay off. So do not be discouraged. Man up and dedicate yourself to the process. Then success will be inevitable. And finally, step number six, reinvest. This is absolutely crucial if you are trying to grow a business. Once you start earning, you do not go out and spend these extra dollars on a new car or fancy clothes. No, you take these earnings and you reinvest them back into the business. How do you think Mr. Beast managed to become the best earning YouTuber in the world? He actually spoke about this in an interview he said that every time he uploaded a video, every single penny he earned from that video would be spent making the next video. This is how his videos became more and more extraordinary. And with this came more exposure, more attention, more views, and in turn, more earnings. If you do not reinvest your earnings, your progress will stall. You will keep having the same revenue or it will grow very slowly. But if you reinvest, your growth will be exponential. And this is when you will see your business reaching new heights. 
To sum up the video, what you really need to do is this. Pick a business that you can see yourself working in. Then dedicate yourself to learning as much as possible. Dedicate yourself to the struggle. Dedicate yourself to the pain, the sleepless nights, the frustration, the anxiety. But keep going. Do not hold back. Be action-oriented and reinvest your earnings to grow even faster. I believe in you, brother, but that means nothing. If you do not believe in yourself, stay hungry, be an absolute monster, work in silence, grind in the shadows, and eventually you will come storming through the gates and you will take everyone's breath away with how far you come and how much you have evolved. Become unstoppable. That's it for today's video, brother. I hope you learned something. Please do me a favor and leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And also please share your thoughts in the comments below and do not be afraid to ask me a question. I promise you that I will give you the best response I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.